Okay, so how do you do this? All right, so um, read the problem. What proportion, right? I wouldn't even really read like in math section, right? You don't really need to read this. In the reading part, you need to go read this more carefully, right? Because it's a longer passage. Here, what proportion of adults who received a sugar pill reported uh, contracting a cold? So what proportion who received reported contracting? So again, the numerator over denominator, right? So the proportion of adults who received a sugar pill, right? That's going to be in the denominator, right? How many is it? Sugar pill total, right? These people, these people, the, when you add it, you get it over here, right? So that's going to be 150, okay? And uh, reported contracting a cold. So how many people got a cold here? 33, right? So remember, I always start with the denominator first and I go to the numerator. I don't see any of these here, but when I reduce it, when I reduce it, right? This, that's a good skill to have three times 11, is 33 and three times 150 is 50, right? So that's that's why that's gonna be your answer, okay? And for people who are new, right? Definitely participate in the session, right? This session is so important. It's so important for you to participate in it, right? Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I totally understand what you're saying, Shami. Okay, so, um, okay. So now we are gonna do, uh, let's try this one over here, okay? Um, super easy, uh, another easy problem. Okay, um, um, another easy problem here. Okay. Um, great, homework, <laughs> school homework. Yeah, maybe we'll have a class of that once. Um, Okay, so all right, so the table the table above shows the distribution of ages of uh, twenty uh, students enrolled in a college class. Which of the following gives the correct order of mean, median? Uh, um, yeah, you know what? Like, since you guys, if you have trouble with your homework, now I'm not trying to guarantee anything. Okay, I'm not guaranteeing anything. But if you have trouble with your homework, you can send me your homework. I'm not gonna solve anything. Okay, I'm not gonna solve anything at all. But I might just sometimes make a YouTube video, okay? So that's not a guarantee, okay? It's not part of this bootcamp, all right? This bootcamp was meant to be SAT math, okay? And it's always being SAT math. There is some complimentary reading sessions. There's gonna be grammar videos, but you can send me something. If I find it interesting, if I already have videos, I will make some videos, I may help you, but not a guarantee, okay? Okay, all right, so let's move on. Uh, over here, okay. So uh, the the table above shows the distribution of ages. So again, you don't need to read all of this. They're just asking you what is mean, median, mode, and range, right? So uh, let's find the mode real quick, easiest to find, right? The mode is the one which is the highest frequency, okay? The frequency means there are eighteen people. There are six people who have age of eighteen, right? So six is the answer, okay? Six, okay, six. So mode is six, okay. Now, look at the median. So how do you calculate the median? Okay, so one way you can think about the median is you can think about um, how many people there are. There's 20 students, okay? Um, so, uh, so, the, uh, so the mode is 18, you're right. Mode is 18, you're right. So uh, how many people um, um, here? 20, right? So how do you find the middle of it? You divide it by two and then you add 0.5. So that's gonna be 10 plus 0.5, right? Which means that the, the median person is gonna be between 10 and 11, okay? It's gonna be 10 and 11, okay? And if you haven't seen this, this is all in my uh, recent video that we did on mean, median range and mode, okay? Um, okay, so it's between 10 and 11. Now you kind of can plot it over here. You start from here, right? There are six people here, there are 11 here, right? So if you write down 18, 18, 18, right? There are six of them. And again, I'm doing it real, real quick. Uh, right, so it's it's gonna be 19, but for people who haven't seen this before, right, you'd write down 18 here, there's six of them, and then you write down 19, there's five of them, right? So um, so you uh, 19 and 19, right? So the, the mode is, the median is gonna be um, the, uh, these guys over here, right? Because it's the 10th and the 11th. So it's still gonna be, um, it's still gonna be 19, okay? So the median is 19, and then the the mean, Right, and the mean is going to be equal to this times this, 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 and add them together. Okay, you can add them. Right, so let's add them real quick. And for some of you, let's see. 
So 18 times. So let me just get rid of this. Okay. I know this is a slightly longer problem, uh, which I'm doing uh, just for the benefit of people who have just joined in, right? This is the, this is actually explained very similar problem. Uh, we've, we've done this before. Remember the apples problem and the seed problem. So that's exactly what we're doing over here. Okay. Um, there are uh, six people whose age is 18, right? So you're going to write down 18 times six. Then you're going to add this 19 times five, etc. You're going to keep doing this and you divide it by the number of uh, people here. So let's calculate it. Right, 18 times, 18 times six plus 19 times five plus 20 times four plus 21 times two plus 22 plus 23 plus 30, right? So you get 400 here, right? Over 20, right? I'm doing it real fast over here, so that's 20. So the mean, the mean is 20, right? This is the mean. Uh, the median is 19, and uh, the mode is. 18, right? So that's one way you can do it. A little bit of explanation here, but this is less than this and this. So mode is the least and mean, mean is the maximum. And so A is the answer. Sorry, this was a slightly longer one for uh, some, some of you. Some of you already solved it, but I just want to explain this because it's such an important problem. Okay. Um, all right. So let's move to the next one. And again, this, we are moving at such a fast speed, guys. This is usually, as you know, uh, for the new people, don't get uh, uh, plastered, right? Like, wow, this is too fast. This is because we are actually, this is for people who actually attended the bootcamp, right? Or already know a decent amount of SAD stuff. And this is just practice for them. Wednesday session is going to be so easy. Okay. It's going to be light. It's going to be deeper. You're going to get a much better understanding of the topic. Okay. Which is going to be word problems, but this one is going to be fast. This is just kind of practice. So just, just enjoy the experience. Okay. All right. I'm still not going to read all of this. What is this saying based on the uh, line of best fit? Okay, which of the following is closest to the predicted percent of uh, whatever this is uh, in after decomposing for three years? Okay, so um, and has a mean annual average of uh, temperature of negative two degrees. Okay, so you probably want to read this decompose. So, okay, so here what they're saying is right here what they're saying. That's a long, long one, right? But look at this. Okay, there's a temperature here, and then whatever this mass, this this biological thing over here, right? Um, science thing over here. So what they're saying is when it's negative two degrees, right? Which means this is five, this is ten, so this is two point five. So somewhere over here, I'm literally just making it assumption over here, right? And then what is what is this guy? That's all. In a scatter plot, that's usually what is asked. As soon as you see a scatter plot, there's not much to be done. Okay, there's only two or three types of methods to be used. Okay, so when it's negative two degrees, what is it? It's 70, right? Immediately you can see there's nothing much to be done here. Okay, uh, this three years is kind of confused, like kind of might throw you off a little bit. It's like whatever. This is just the definition of the problem the remaining after decomposing for three years. The main thing is when it's negative two degrees, right? So that's why you need to understand what is in the x axis and what is in the y axis. They usually will ask you if the something on the x axis was like five plus five degrees, then it would be 55 or whatever, right? So something like that. 